Alright guys, welcome back to Factorio. Uh, so we got actually a couple things to do anyway, so... We need to make uh, some pumps and some shit like that. Because uh, these are actually going to come in handy. I don't know how many I need. I just have an overabundance of them. Uh, so we're going to need to prepare for oil processing. Do I still have resources for that shit? I hate how the engine units are here. I just need like a place I can just pick up engine units, you know, anytime I, I please. But no. No engine units for me. Alright. Just make a bunch of chem chemical plants. Uh, I think uh, I think that's pretty much all we need. We, we just need to get some pipes, though. Uh, well, no, we don't. Okay. Belts are okay, too. So, um, I could have another two trains going through, uh, through each of these stations, but I don't, so... Uh, we also should probably plug in that last port. Fuck. Alright, you know what? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll just spend a second going going and doing that. I mean, actually, advanced oil processing was almost done, so you know what? You guys don't tell me what to do. All right, so I, I know that probably someone has yelled at me because, like, uh, this is an obvious problem where, like, you know, the batteries are not make. I, I knew this was actually going on, so you know, the batteries. Oh, they're not making anything. Oh, why is that? Oh, there's no sulfuric acid. Oh, why is there no sulfuric acid? Well, the thing making sulfuric acid is right here. Oh, it's not getting any sulfur. Why is it not getting any sulfur? Oh, it's not getting any petroleum gas. And you go all the way back to the little oil bullshittery that we have over there. So, that's the problem. Uh, but now we're done this. All right, let's get robot speed and maybe cargo size too. Because this will help. Because bots are so freaking nice. I love them so much. Love them more than anything. Actually, wait. Let's let's see how my blue science is doing. It's actually still kind of good, but it would be good to do some other research, like this one, for example. Let's actually get mining productivity done. There's actually no reason not to do mining productivity now. All right. So this is this is this is the king. This is the king. It's time. It's fucking time now. All right. So we have these things. Oh, it has nowhere to put the heavy oil. Oh, because heavy oil is full. Well, what we can do is we can actually swap this to advanced oil processing instead. What this does is it uses crude oil and water. This is what the research did. It requires blue science, but this is their way of making it so you get more light oil, you get more petroleum, but less heavy oil, uh, but you have to add water to this. Um, it is amazing. It is so good. It is so nice. But unfortunately, this is all going in the wrong port. So we need to bring that over. Uh, we need to now bring water over, and you can see actually that I've I've left some space here for that as well. Um, so we just have to bring water from like up here or something. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't plan this sh shit out that well, I guess. Okay. okay, am I allowed to move through these ones? No, just the chemical plants. Darn. So this is gonna be where our water comes from. Uh, it doesn't need to be that far up. We'll just kind of start doing this. All right, and then we kind of just go this way. What the hell? Oh, apparently there was some resources here. I didn't realize I left some here. Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. I apparently did not do a very good job in clearing out this place, but that's okay. Oh, and there's also like a little thing right here. Whatever. That's life. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you suck. All right. So water will come from right here. Uh, we only need one really for this. I, I, I never really needed more than one. But that, there you go. There's water for you. By the way, while this is going on, obviously the factory is back to normal. It is now making more uh, more laser turrets as needed, so that's good. So there you go. We have now advanced oil processing. So less heavy oil, and if you notice that we don't actually use heavy oil a lot, um, we will be using it more later. But uh, we don't we don't have a great amount of use for it. So that's kind of how that works. Um, but we're not done yet, actually. 
um, we have to do something with uh, we have we now have something with um, oil cracking. Oil cracking is pretty freaking great. Um, so on top of that, uh, I'll actually show you the research that we just did because that, maybe maybe that's actually a better thing. Um, so we've just uh, just to show you all the products of it. Where is it? Um, oil, oil. Okay. So this require th that's the thing is it does require blue science, but it gives light oil cracking to petroleum gas, heavy oil cracking to light oil, and advanced oil processing. Gives us all those things. All very, very, very nice things, too. So, um, very nice that we got those. Alright, um, like, they're all very much needed. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, um, because I, I kind of want to have that place, like, on its own, right here. And uh, there's going to be some other interesting things that we're going to do with that a little bit later, but we don't have to worry about it right now. Alright. So, uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this... Um, I'm going to have... Um, where is this guy? We're going to put this guy over here. The reason for that is it's just to give me an idea of where not to build. Uh, because we want to leave this space free and it's gonna be for something a little bit later it's actually a really cool thing so one of the problems that i have with this map right now is do you notice how there's no more oil this is all we have this is all we have for oil that's incredibly bad because it will run out eventually so what's my plan to for long-term oil usage the thing is um even if i don't find oil the run isn't over in fact it's quite not over here's the thing we have a lot of coal 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 a little bit of coal there, a little bit of coal here. A lot of coal patches, right? And this is what you have in the game. You have something called coal liquidification, coal liquidification or whatever. So this one takes, um, it, uh, it takes 10 coal, 50 steam, tw uh, 25 heavy oil, and creates 35 uh, heavy oil, 15 light oil, and 20 petroleum. So this is actually a method we can use to gain more, uh, uh, like like if we don't have any more, we can actually, as long as we have coal near us, we can actually, we don't have any oil issues actually. Uh, but this is with production science, which is uh, not, not soon, but somewhere down the line. Um, but it's just one of those things that uh, we can plan for that, you know? So that's kind of nice. So here's what we're gonna do next. Uh, so we're gonna work on uh, petroleum. Uh, we're gonna work. Sorry, we're gonna work on something else. I actually don't know what to do here. All right, so we're gonna be doing uh, some oil cracking, and so I, I I don't really have any good organization for this. I'm just fucking. I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother to organize it that particularly well. I don't. I just don't care. So. Uh, we're gonna have the first one here, which is going to be uh, light oil, heavy oil cracking to light oil, um, and this is gonna be a little bit weird how I'm gonna do this, and you're gonna kind of maybe a little bit understand me a bit later uh, why I'm doing things the way I am. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have it work on a pump, and why a pump, you ask? Well, you will see. So it does mean we had to, we do have to power this somehow. Uh, just do something like here. This will never be connected anyways. So it's gonna pump everything into there and it's fine. Like it's, you don't have to really deal with anything else with that. Yeah, that's where our water's gonna be. So that's it for that. I actually hate this. I don't like this. I actually would prefer to go the other way. Maybe. Maybe, I say. The thing is, we don't actually need a lot of... Um, a lot of things doing oil cracking uh, for that direction, because... The the way it works is kind of funny. It's like... Well, not, not funny at all, but... I mean, it's, it's engineering shit. Um, engineering humor, what can I say? Uh... The way it works is, uh, heavy oil cracking is one of the ones that actually really doesn't need much in terms of anything. Like, it just... It, 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 it gets everything in, like, only having one of these is actually just perfectly fine. 
So that's why we're gonna just actually probably just keep it like this. Oh, whoops. Okay, that kind of mixed up with that one. We just need to make sure water comes in here. And that's why we have the water right there. Yeah, this is starting to get into some, uh, some spaghetti of, uh, water, but that's okay. Of pipes. Alright, so there you go. That's that, that's how that works. And what we're also going to do is we're going to make a, I think so. The thing is, we do want it to use up our heavy oil and crack it down, but we don't want it to crack down all of it. Because cracking down all of it is just, like, it's, it's a waste in a lot of ways. Um, so we're going to do something a little bit special with this. I'm actually going to bring the water in over here. There you go. So, we need to bring the light oil down to here. We need to put it back. Because we want it, we want the, the oil to easily, sorry, the light oil to easily just go back to where it belongs. So we kind of just kind of go do this. Kind of a setup. And then we power these guys up. So you can see now, like, it's, it's, now cracking down with water, it's cracking down uh, the light oil and putting it back into these tanks. Um, and what we want, what we actually want to do is we don't want it to work all the time, uh, because we actually want to have some light oil, uh, sort of some heavy oil with us, right? Because uh, if we get rid of it, then we're, we're in trouble. So what we do is we use our circuits, uh, red wires, to connect it. By the way, I researched this far earlier. It's this one. It's circuit networks. You do wires, arithmetic combinator, decider. If okay, you, you ever been into like Minecraft and shit like that? Uh, you know, sometimes they have those mods where it just does some, does some like like it's kind of like the redstone and stuff like that. That's what this essentially does. It's kind of like it's just the programming portion of the game. You don't need to do this. This isn't a, a necessary thing. This is just what I do because I know how it works. So I just I just do it. But it's actually very simple. So I connected this pump to the storage tank. So I'm going to tell it that it's only enabled if um, if the uh, heavy oil contents is greater than or equal to, uh, let's say, let's say let's keep 10k in there, right? So now it's going, and so it's four, there's 24k, so when it hits 10k, it's going to basically go down. I could actually, I can actually like say 20,000 or something. That's actually probably a better number. So this way we have an abundance of storage for our... Uh, heavy oil and then it'll, what it will simply do is that it'll just cut it off like when when it's done It'll cut it off and then that's it Don't have to deal with that anymore. So that's that Now we need to do petroleum to heavy oil cracking luckily. I've already brought in the light oil to this side This is kind of why I did it this way because reasons um, And then we kind of start to do some shit here Now I don't want to have it go too close. This is actually gonna be the far side. I think all right, so this is the one that actually requires a, a, a little bit more. Not a substantial but a bit more, but like just a little bit more. So we kind of just do this. And this is going to be light oil to uh, to petroleum cracking. So that's a bit different. And we're going to just plug these in first. Unfortunately, I, I don't even know why I'm, I'm lacking in one pipe I, it must have gotten destroyed or or I placed it down because I've actually found them around the base where I started something and then I didn't finish it anyways so let's do this and we're gonna actually have this run off of its own water supply because I'm not sure if I well maybe I can just plug that in honestly the thing is I'm not too sure about the limitations of water in this case but we'll see Because that's one of the things I concern myself with slightly. And actually, we need a pump here too. Because it's the same issue. So this is making oil to pump in that direction. But we need to say maybe, hey, uh, we need to... Yeah, 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 I got it. Okay. Sorry. This is, this is kind of complexing shit. Okay, maybe we'll do something like this. Alright. Then we'll bring the water over somehow. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Alright, alright, I got it. Beautiful spaghetti, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, just, just works perfectly. So, um, yeah, something's getting destroyed, oh, jeez. Yeah, so, 
Uh, this one now has a pollution cloud that's emanating from here, so it's actually spawning some attacks. So we may need to do something about that soon. Uh, but we're trying to work on this first. So this is um, same problem, essentially. So, so we get another red. Actually, we can get a green wire for this. Actually, no, 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 red, because it runs off the same one. So we kind of bring it over here. And now you hook it up to that one. Because actually, it, the logistic, uh, it's the circuit network actually reads the same thing. So, you say light oil is uh, greater than, it will It will be enabled if it's greater than or equal to 20,000. So that's now on, because it has no problem with that. Alright, let's just get some of this stuff going. And we'll do some of this. Alright, so now it's making petroleum. But we need to bring the petroleum into the tanks. Uh, or we could just put it into there, but I'll just, I'll just, I'll just feed it directly into the tanks. That's okay. This way we don't cause any, like, fluid issues. I, I don't, I, I don't know if there would be any fluid issues. Um. But, we'll see. Oops. There you go. So, now, this is working petroleum all the time. And that's it. That's, that's actually literally it. Um, it's, we're cracking down light oil, heavy oil, then light oil, and then that's it. And so if we ever need more of these, we could just place more. Like here, I'll just put three more down and I'll just show you how this works generally. Uh, was there something else I want to do? I think I want to get the flamethrowers fueled up there, because I know they're not fueled right now. Okay, you know, this is good enough, honestly. So this will be busy. And this is how we do it. We didn't actually change anything re regarding our oil. It's just we started actually using the heavy and light oil. Like, th that's all that changed here. So, now these machines should be working all the time. And they appear to be doing so. They're just having difficulty emptying it out, I think. Like, look at how slow this one's going. Maybe we just need more. We may need more. Because it needs to, it needs to empty it out somewhere. Uh, mining productivity. Good times. So, that's kind of how we do things here. Fuck, I only really did have one. All right, so we did mining productivity. We'll do the second version of that as well, and then we'll do. Uh, we'll go back. I need some some things here though first. I probably should just go and like start piping things around. I mean, d does this actually gonna need? I mean, I guess this is sort of an issue, but oh my god, yeah, we need the flamethrowers. So we're gonna work on that next. Actually, there's a whole bunch of things I need to be working on, and uh, yeah, it's just the world of Factorio. There's always something to do. All right, there we go. Because I want to actually fix my steam engines, and I actually have a great idea for that. Or it's, it's not really my idea, but. Actually, we need to plug in the rest of this. So if these ever stop getting water, then we'll know that where the problem lies. But you can see now our petroleum is actually starting to go up, uh, which is which is nice. And the, and it's still cracking down the 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 light oil too, so that's nice. All right, so um, we have a situation, right? Uh, the situation is that we want to power the flamethrower turrets and the other bases. Uh, which is a huge, huge issue. Uh, they need to be powered. Um, so we have a plan for that. We do have a plan for that. Um, thing is, they've changed the fluid dynamics in this game several times now. Uh, so I don't even know if what I want to do here will work. But we're just going to assume it will. Because uh, that's obviously, uh, we're optimists here. So, you know how we brought the heavy oil, uh, sorry, the light oil down here. So, we have light oil in here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a belt here. Uh, so, what we do is we just, uh, whoops. Fuck. Really? Yeah, so, we have to lock all these things like this. Uh, the reason why you see me doing this is for a very good reason. 
because we're going to put this one as barrel, barrel, and it's going to have light oil barrel. And we, if we, if we shift right click on that, and then over here we shift left click on that, we can actually, I can't actually see it here, but it will actually have the same limitations over here. Uh, and that's also why you saw that I didn't actually give the train the order at Iron 1 to wait until it empties the inventory, because it's going to have a mixed inventory. Um, I, I do this occasionally with my, uh, with the way I do my bases. I just, I like doing this. I don't know why. I, it's makes things difficult for myself. I love a challenge. All right, so we do this and we give it everything it wants here. Actually, it could be on the other side as well. That's the thing. Wow, I didn't even have to do it from this side, actually. It just occurred to me. Because if you're a baller, because, um, okay, there's an in and out, right? And so what we do is we have filter inserter. Um, we say, hey, you're gonna take out, um, you're gonna take out empty barrels. It's very simple. There you go. Um, actually, don't like the way I did this. Huh. It'll do something like that. So we wanted to empty out the, the, the empty barrels uh, whenever possible. Uh, and then we make an assembly machine right here. Okay, actually, maybe it'll be like this. It's actually not bad. All right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what we tell it to do, uh, this is, I, as I said, I'm working this out in my head right now. Uh, this is how planned I come out for these things. So we're gonna say, okay, uh, loads as fast as possible and then unloads as fast as possible. And then the directive of this machine here is going to be fill light oil barrel. And then it has a little input there for us, you see? And so I just kind of do this. All right, there you go. So now it's gonna fill light oil barrels for us. And uh, the problem is we need to actually give this barrel, so uh, I haven't quite worked out this logistic shenanigans, but yeah. Um, probably something along the lines of this. There you go. And then we give this one as much steel as it wants. And it's just going to create empty barrels. And then it's going to put uh, some barrels on the line here. Right? Uh, so that's it for that. So we actually want these to fill up and unload the barrels as soon as possible. Because we, we never want that to be like our limiting factor. So, because that would suck. Yeah, we can do this. So we can actually give this the barrels right now. See, this is the, this is actually the one that was in this station. Uh, so it already it already has what it needs. Guess we're gonna do something like this. All right, so that's that. That's that. So then it's gonna also offload barrels somewhere. Actually, you know, I hate how I did this. I'm actually going to do it the other way, because you know what? A bad layout is bad forever. Yeah, this is okay. This is actually going to be good. This is this is nice. Now, okay, I've 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 fixed this forever. So we do this so that it kind of can split off. Yeah, like eventually more more things will feed into that line, so it's it, don't worry about too much about that. This is how it comes in. All right, so there you go. So it comes in here, and so the reason why it, it only has so it's whitelisted, so it only has like two sets of slots for this stuff, and then it has empty barrel slots. So it's just continuously just making more and more of this stuff. Um, like I, I just I, I simply do not care how much is coming in. It's fine. Um, that's good. That's all we need to do for that. Uh, so now the train now has uh, just like a little slot filled up with like places to put light oil. Uh, and that will come in handy very shortly. Because you can see like the difference is like clear as day. The difference between not having uh, not having things for for light oil or whatever. 
It just we we really do need it. All right, my my thing is up there. How many more miners do I have? I have another fifty. Uh, so we're good. I'm just gonna make sure I have uh, some materials here as well, just in case I decide to, I, that I need to make something else while I'm up there. All right. Actually, we'll, we'll spend a second to repair stuff. So while we're at it, let's see how much uh, laser turrets we're up to. So 44. In the, in the time it take, took for our factory to kind of come back online, we have 44 more turrets. Pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, instead of mining productivity, actually, we're going to resume on what I was doing before. What was I doing before? Oh, yeah, robot worker speed. So I think now the blue science is actually backed up enough. Mining productivity is one of those things where... Um, I'll actually explain it to you what productivity means in this game. See this purple bar? It, while it produces things, while the machine works, uh, it will eventually create a new uh, extra thing uh, coming out of it. So a new a new product kind of a thing. So those are those are actually really nice to, to have. Uh, you can put productivity modules into things, which also cause that, but it only works for intermediate products, which means not a final result. It has to be something that kind of... Uh, um, Whatever, I can't fucking explain it. I don't know. It just, basically it doesn't work quite the way. It, it's not like it's not free shit for everything. It's uh, free shit for some things. So, so I could use it, and um, I think I can use it in in these, and I can use it in the science machines. I think productivity modules, but they'll, they'll come at a different time. All right. Wow, we really did just kind of eat through those repair packs, didn't we? All right, we're heading back to. Uh, Heading back to the, the base over there. So this is a very, very important part. Now, since we have two entrances, I'm not sure how to do that. So, so this is actually really nice. This is, uh, so we could actually have more trains running on this, actually. Like, uh, cause they're having, they're actually having trouble unloading. So this is like completely doable for us to have like an entirely new line. But let's not concern ourselves too much with that right now. So what I normally do, um, fuck. Yeah, because of the fact I did this on two sides, not realizing uh, that I would eventually be putting this in. All right, all right. No, no, we can we can salvage this. Don't worry. Okay. We can actually salvage this. This is fine. There you go. Uh, it needs to be for the, the first car. There you go. We can even put some lights up too. You know, just be fancy. There you go. Okay, so this one will have the directive of emptying said light oil barrels. And uh, this is just a simple matter of having two, two uh, splitters work like this. Actually, it can, they could can be fast inserters, damn. Because they've changed this. So what it does is it t puts one in there and then puts the empty one back out. That's all this does. And then all you do is we send this up. Now remember what I said before, that pipes actually count as a method of storage. Right? So just by doing this and hooking it up to the line, it is filling up the pipes with everything that it needs. So... But it's doing it a little bit slowly, I, I, I will admit. Um, it's doing it slowly because they've changed the way... Uh, these now store only 50 rather than 250. That's one of the nerfs that they did to that to uh, piping for some reason. Uh, we can actually make this... We can be better about this, actually. We will we'll bring it from up here. Oh, wow, really? I like, uh, I like feng shui in my, in my layout. But yeah, now some of these turrets actually have light oil in them. So, and light oil does more damage than, and, and why did, why did the bases get the good stuff? Well, it just kind of works out that way because uh, we, we already have light oil to fuel the trains. Might as well have light oil to fuel the flamethrowers. Why not? It's not a bad idea. <laughs> it's... It's just it's just how I work things out. So these these machines will constantly be here, and they will be working on uh, the flamethrowers as much as possible. But the problem is that the trains have to make a couple runs here, 
Because everything is purely... Whoops. I didn't want that. Yeah, actually, you can see that they're working right now. So, it's gonna do... It's gonna just basically, while it's here, it's just gonna trade it all out. And it's basically done. That's it. It puts it just puts the barrels straight back in there. And as I said, there's only enough for a little bit of fuel, but I don't know how much. Like, already as it is, all these flamethrowers are basically full, actually. They already have 100 in there. And the pipes in between also have a bit of light oil in them as well. They will have a bit of light oil in them. So. It's actually, it just, it's very convenient how that works. And so after a couple times where it's going back and forth, it'll eventually be done. And then that's it. So I am thinking we need to double wall this off, actually. And it looks like these, this one already ran out, so that's nice. I could just get rid of the stupid spaghetti shit that I did because the base was too small. So we can, and we can actually just go put this back the way it was before. Uh, where's this guy? Uh, I, I like using a template because I, I guarantee you it will make it perfectly. See, every single time. Uh, are we out of repair packs? We are totally out of repair packs. The space has been hammered a little bit because it's, it's now another source of pollution generation. And the natives don't really like that. Um, but like I said, luckily we have now flamethrowers uh, kind of helping out here. And the trains, the trains are just working beautifully, uh, as you can see. So I'm gonna actually tell this guy to just go straight to Iron One, because there's another one. He's already waiting there. So like, we have now the problem of oh, we have now too much uh, iron now. What a problem to have, guys! What a time to live in. It's so good. So I mean, we have a couple of things of, and you see how fast they get here too. It's so good. So there you go, it's filling up the pipes again, once once again, you can actually see them kind of going through the system, and eventually it'll fill up, so I absolutely positively do not add a system uh, here, I don't I do not do anything like, um, uh, I, don't, I never put them into like a, a, a fluid container. Before you ask why I don't do that, it's because the, the pipes will store it, the pipes count as a storage of like I think about 100 each. So it will fill up the pipes all the way, and then that will be essentially the, the storage, because it's a, it's a fucking waste. It's a waste any other way. So, that's why we don't do that. We don't need that anymore. So, uh, yeah, they've been... Uh, they've been doing things. I, I actually don't think I, I I really actually don't need to add more miners here. I was thinking about it, but now I've changed my mind and I'm gonna say no, we're not gonna do that. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna build walls. And you can see they did come from over here, but I doubt they will ever come from the bottom because they will always they, they they will always aggro onto the base first. So let's finish up uh, this wall at least. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just extend this wall here a little bit just because uh whoops because uh they are attacking I, I will make it like probably too thick and probably the i'm gonna probably update all the blueprints to make them too thick as well although i'm not sure if i can do that actually i'm very curious can i actually update the blueprints whoops uh let's see right mouse button to open no i can't i can't add to it we would have to copy and paste it again. We're not gonna we're not gonna bother with it too much right now because the thing is I don't really want to I don't think I really want to do anything with it right now. Yeah, you can see they're already doing work here, and the bots are taking a little bit of damage. And now my car is taking damage. Now the bots are dying. This doesn't really handle the fact that, oh, we're going to have issues with, um, obviously these, these things need to repair themselves, but that's, uh, that's a problem we're going to solve very shortly, actually. Pretty much we need the wall up first, though. Because that temporary wall is just trash, not going to cut it. But I'm probably going to spend, uh, just before the next episode doing that. This is pretty much how we're going to, you know, add to the wall, the existing walls is kind of like this. 
I mean, you could blueprint it, but I'm, I'm just doing it manually just because this is faster. By the way, the way you add more gate, uh, the way you make a double-sided gaze, you just add more gates. But I, I don't, I don't really feel it necessary to do so. All right, this is now good. So if we actually look at the pipes, they now actually have some internal storage in the pipes. All the flamethrower turrets are, are, are they full? Yeah, they're full now. But there's not a lot of light oil just randomly in the pipes, and then we're just gonna add more. Like it's just gonna add more, then we're done. Uh, with that, so that's that. Uh, and now we consider to ourselves, uh, and by the way, robot worker speed two is almost done. 